more trailer tires. Uh, I, maybe a month ago, I did a video on some, my thoughts around trailer tire sizing. And based on some experiences I had, not necessarily good ones, with these stockers that came on my travel trailer. And then a rental U-Haul trailer that I had that uh, had some really well-done tires on. So, while I was changing these, because I did them myself, while I was changing them, I noticed that when I rolled them, they were all kind of wavy and uneven. And I was wondering if I had other delamination issues, uh, kind of like what I found on the one that grenaded on the, tra on the trailer. So, I thought about it, and I figured, well, i got not too much going on today. It's a little windy. Hopefully the sound isn't too bad. But uh, I'm going to try to cut cut one of these or maybe all of them up and see if I can find any indication that there were other issues in the tire itself uh, or in the tires themselves beyond the one that had let go. They're a little warped and out of shape right now because they've been sitting on my junk pile for a month or two months. And I'm going to just see what I can do. The hardest part of this is going to be getting through the beads, but hopefully my little bolt cutter here will let me do it. So we're going to give it a shot. Yes, water in see what we can do here. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Being obstinate. Sounds good. That one's cut. All right, that one's cut. That one's definitely cut. cut. Get the other side. I got the beads cut, not quite 180 out. One thing I'll say is Yeah, it's a pretty good bead. It's just a bunch of wire, pretty small gauge. Yeah. Not too much in there. Yeah, I was expecting more. I was surprised it was as easy to cut as it is. So, I'm going to run and get a uh, I'm going to start with something simple. I'm just going to grab a razor knife and see if I can cut that plastic, cut that rubber with a razor knife. This isn't even a terribly good razor knife. There you go. No, don't run over the razor knife. Good lord. I figured that'd be easier. That would be harder to cut than it is. getting through the tread, but for whatever it's worth, here's your sidewall. And you can see really nothing in there, rubber, some very, very small layers of 
cloth. I don't think it's fiberglass, but uh, there's some metal, I think, in the tread, because I don't think I'm going to be able to cut the rest of this with this razor knife. I'll give it a little bit of a try. So yeah, now there's... There's something in there. Be right back. tools. I really should have safety glasses on. Alright, let's see if this works any better. See, this is what I don't like to see. This is what I don't really like to see. Now, granted, I just beat the shit out of this thing with a with a with a saw. But as we can see, this. get a screwdriver and kind of pry into that a little bit because that's where I had the issues with the tire that failed is it delaminated in that area so see what we got here That goes a fair way down there. 
Are you talking that far? The rest of it seems okay. But to me, this rubber should be like a like the section I'm poking at now. Solid. I did not impart enough heat in that thing with that saw to do that. And you can see that is in between the two layers of these you know, steel reinforcement. I don't like that. That's uh that's an issue. Which side did this get cut off of? <laughs> over here. Yep, sure enough. Alright, here's the opposite side. Here's where that mated to. Again, this was not You know, that's just a small area in just one random spot I happen to cut the tire. Again, the rest of it looks pretty good. This is actually where I was hacking and slashing to begin with, so this was cut through very quickly on this end. It wasn't burned. That's, uh, that's problematic to me. I'm not too happy with that. Not sure what to tell you. I mean, I don't know what it means. I know what it means to me. Uh, these tires are chunk, and the uh, potential for delamination is certainly there. And I'm not surprised of what I found on the tire that failed on me. So I don't. I'm not even going to cut the rest of these. I mean, I cut this one in kind of just a random spot. was able to find a pretty significant spot where the rubber didn't vulcanize together properly. I don't, uh, I don't like it. It's not good. It's not good. So, again, maybe when uh, I change out my new Maxxis Ease I'll cut one of those in half and see if it's much different. I'm certainly not going to do it now because I like those tires. Those have been good so far. They got maybe a thousand miles on them so far and they've been brilliant. They tow very well. And honestly, these weren't too bad until they exploded. But uh, kind of like I said at the end of the video, which I'll link to if you want to see it, uh, at the end is I've seen people comment in the forums that when they buy a trailer, they immediately put new tires on it. And I thought that was kind of silly. I don't think so anymore. This is, uh, these are junk. This is garbage. Uh, you know, they're in the trailer building, building industry. They're not in the tire, you know, tire longevity industry. And I don't know that they're going to warranty a tire explosion because they'll never be able to prove how these were treated. And again, I don't know how these were treated before I got it. Granted, I bought the thing new, but had to have been towed from somewhere, it's likely in Indiana, so it probably had 1,200, 1,500 miles on it before I got it. I don't know how these were treated, but this was one of the good ones. And I cut it in half in one random spot, and I found a pretty significant potential delamination point where it could start. So, yeah, I don't know what you want to know. That's, uh, that's how they're built, and the beads aren't much other than a bunch of little cables. They were cut through real easily. I was surprised I was able to get through those as easy as I was with the bolt cutter. And uh, just, I picked this because, I picked this spot because when I was rolling it, it seemed like the tire had a high spot right around this area. That's why I picked that spot to cut. And sure enough, something was amiss. So, uh, I, if you have crummy tires or, or the original tires on your unit and you can get them off reasonably, if you can roll them and kind of, uh, and while they're still inflated, look, you know, look across here to see as you're going around if there's any wobbles or things that are out of shape. Um, you might consider, you know, 
you've never had any trouble with them, it's your choice. But uh, if they don't look, he'll look round. If they look uh, look out of shape, you might consider changing them out, especially if they've got a few miles on. Anyway, uh, appreciate you watching. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I'll be doing more of these videos as I think of them. Plus, if you check out the rest of the channel, I've got a ridiculous firebird that I like doing bone burnouts with. I don't know if you can see the marks in the background, but uh, it's fun. Anyway, I uh, hope you all have a good New Year's, and I'll talk to you later.